Welcome to this APU installation video series. There are six videos in the series that will provide step-by-step -step instructions for the installation process. An instruction manual is also included with each APU that will provide additional information. Always use the installation manual as the primary source of information for the system installation. This video is a representation of a standard installation. Your installation of this system and its components may vary based on truck make, model, and options. The first video will cover components of the system as well as mounting the APU unit to the truck frame rail. Before we get started, here are a few safety reminders. Please keep safety in mind during all steps of the installation process. Always wear safety glasses during all procedures. Ensure the work area is clear of trips, slips, or fall hazards prior to starting work. Make sure you are wearing non-conductive shoes prior to working with electrical components, and do not lift heavy objects by yourself. Utilize lift carts or two-person procedures. Make sure the electrical equipment is not located in a hazardous environment such as a damp, wet location or exposed to high temperatures or flammable liquids. Ensure that current and safety devices such as fuses, breakers, and GFCI have not been tampered with and are working correctly. Make sure the power cord and plug do not have any defects, such as cuts in the insulation exposing bare wiring. Know if the equipment has an emergency shutoff switch and where it is located prior to use, and make sure there is sufficient space around the electrical equipment or circuit in order to maintain or operate. The APU system will arrive on a pallet and will include individual boxes containing frame rail unit, underbed power module or UBB, Installation kit with cables, harnesses, fuses, and thermostat. Frame bracket, evaporator, OEM harness, shore power kit, driver's packet. Please take the time to inventory the contents of the pallet. Place the individual boxes near the area of the truck where they will be installed. Protect your APU equipment from the elements with a quarter fender add-on. Fender installation should take place before you mount your APU frame rail unit to ensure the fender does not interfere with the APU positioning. Now you are ready to mount the APU's frame rail unit to the truck's frame rail. You will need a torque wrench and a lifting cart to complete the step. The frame rail unit is an 18 by 23 by 26 inch box that will be mounted on the frame rail. It weighs approximately 500 pounds and requires 24 inches of clearance on the frame rail. The typical location is the passenger side of the truck behind the fuel tank, in front of the drive wheels. If space is not available on the passenger side, other frame locations may be available. Place the frame rail unit on the lift cart. Remember it is heavy and requires assistance to place it on the cart. Push the APU's frame rail unit into position next to the truck's frame to test the fit. Confirm there is clearance on all sides. Depending on the truck, it may be necessary to reroute the exhaust route so that it is clear of the APU and redirect the heat away from the frame rail unit to protect the batteries. An optional exhaust reroute kit is available. Add the heater hoses to the back of the frame rail unit Raise the lift so that the top two mounting bolts of the APU's frame rail unit clear the top of the truck's frame. Insert two grade eight, five eighths inch bolts and washers through the holes at the top of the L brackets. Start the bolts until they are through the APU's welded frame nut. Place two bolts with washers through the lower holes of the back bracket. Tighten the four mounting bolts while keeping the frame rail unit flush with the truck's frame. Remove the lift and ensure that the bolts are torqued to 212 foot-pounds. Add a vertical witness mark on each bolt and adhere to the torque check service label on the frame rail unit's cover. Write the date six months from the installation on the label. You have now completed mounting the APU's frame rail unit to the frame. All bolts should be torqued to 212 foot-pounds. The torque value is a dry torque value 
do not use anti-seize or any other lubricant. There should not be any gaps between the truck frame and the APU unit, and the top APU mounting bolts should be resting on top of the truck's frame. For more detailed instructions, refer to your installation manual. The next video in our series will cover battery installation.